From the edge of infinity, something approaches. Silent, cold, and ancient, astronomers first thought it was just another wandering comet drifting through space. But this time they were wrong, because this one isn't alone. Thousands of smaller bodies are following it, like a cosmic swarm trailing behind a queen, 10,000 companions moving in perfect harmony through the blackness. Scientists call it Trice Atlas, an interstellar traveler from a place no telescope has ever seen. But the deeper they look, the stranger it becomes. What if those fragments aren't random debris? What if each of them carries information, traces of a civilization long vanished or worse, technology designed to study us? The James Webb Space Telescope has confirmed something that defies every natural explanation. And tonight, we'll uncover why this discovery could rewrite what we thought we knew about life beyond our solar system. When the Atlas Telescope first detected the object racing across the night sky, nothing seemed unusual. But as its orbit was calculated, the truth emerged. 3i Atlas wasn't from here. Its hyperbolic trajectory proved it was a traveler from another star, moving at a staggering velocity of over 26 kilometers s relative to the sun. Within days, the world's most powerful observatories turned their gaze toward it, and what they saw defied all logic. The main body was small, around 800 meters in diameter, but trailed by a massive cloud stretching over 120,000 kilometers, filled with thousands of discrete fragments. The James Webb Telescope and ground-based radio arrays confirmed the unthinkable. Roughly 10,000 individual objects were moving in perfect synchronization. Their orbits were nearly identical, as if obeying some hidden command. Comets break apart all the time, but never like this, never so organized never so controlled. Whatever this swarm was, it wasn't behaving like natural fragmentation. It was coordinated. James Webb's instruments soon revealed that 3i Atlas was chemically unlike any comet ever studied. Its surface and gaseous emissions contained water, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen cyanide, but in proportions unlike anything found in our solar system. Even more stunning was the detection of amino acid precursors, Molecules like formamide and acetaldehyde, key to the chemistry of life itself. The isotopic ratios of hydrogen, carbon, and nitrogen confirmed what astronomers suspected. This object had formed under completely different stellar conditions in another planetary system. But the biggest surprise came from its stability. While most comets flare dramatically as they near a star, 3i Atlas remained steady, releasing gases at a constant rate, almost as if it were regulating its own activity. Hidden within its thermal data were heat signatures far too localized, far too stable, the kind that suggested internal processes at work. Was it venting gas or maintaining energy? The line between science and something else began to blur. Across telescopes in Arizona, Chile, and space, scientists confirmed what had once seemed impossible. The fragments trailing 3i Atlas were moving in formation, their relative velocities were too low, their structure too precise. Some fragments even displayed faint signs of cometary activity, miniature tails and jets, as if they were alive, still venting volatile gases after millions of years in interstellar space. The swarm appeared to be divided into seven distinct families, each maintaining a subtle but measurable difference in trajectory, almost like specialized groups within a system. The odds of a natural comet surviving a journey of tens of millions of years and arriving in our solar system, with its fragments still intact, are virtually zero. The cohesion was too perfect, the timing too precise. Could this be the result of a resonant fragmentation, a kind of harmonic disintegration where the pieces separate in perfect rhythm? Or could it be something far more deliberate, an engineered array of interstellar probes traveling together under the disguise of a cometary cloud. When scientists plotted the fragment's orbits, they noticed something eerie. The swarm wasn't random. It formed patterns, arcs, spirals, and dense clusters that repeated with geometric precision. Some even aligned along magnetic field lines detected by polarimetric instruments, hinting at an underlying magnetized structure. Radio telescopes listening to the region picked up faint rhythmic fluctuations within the radio background. Nothing that could be identified as a signal, yet repeating too consistently to ignore. To skeptics it was noise. To others it was coordination. Each fragment, 
no matter its size, appeared to maintain position as if following an invisible grid. Some researchers propose that Three Eye Atlas might once have been part of a planetary crust torn apart by gravity. Others whispered about a machine world, long dead, now scattering its remnants across the stars. But when James Webb captured thermal anomalies emanating from several of the larger fragments, identical in temperature, perfectly synchronized, one conclusion began to take hold. Maybe these weren't fragments at all. Maybe they were nodes, parts of something still functioning, still aware, and now inside our solar system. Soon after the discovery of the swarm's geometry, the James Webb Space Telescope began detecting an even stranger phenomenon. Faint fluctuations in the infrared spectrum of light, reflected by the 10,000 fragments. When the signal was isolated and amplified, researchers realized it wasn't random variation. The fragments were pulsing in harmony, emitting microscopic changes in brightness at regular intervals. The rhythm was too consistent to be coincidence, identical cycles repeating every 147 seconds across every observable fragment. Some scientists suggested it could be a form of rotational resonance, perhaps caused by solar radiation pressure, but others, analyzing the timing, noticed that the sequence followed a mathematical progression based on the Fibonacci ratio, a pattern found throughout living systems, galaxies, and even atomic structures. Was this cosmic coincidence or evidence of design? The debate fractured the astronomical community, because if 10,000 interstellar fragments were all oscillating in the same precise rhythm, the universe had either orchestrated an impossible accident or someone had built it to happen. Then came a discovery that shook even the skeptics. When the Hubble Space Telescope attempted to photograph the swarm using polarized filters, it found that light scattering from each fragment didn't behave normally. Instead of diffusing in random directions, the light reflected back toward the source, a behavior known as retro-reflection, something common in engineered materials, but virtually non-existent in nature. Retro-reflectors are used on Earth in satellites, road signs, and robotic sensors, structures specifically designed to return light precisely to where it came from. Yet here, floating millions of kilometers from Earth, 10,000 fragments were doing exactly that. It was as if the entire swarm had been built to be seen, a massive reflective array designed to signal or communicate through geometry and light. More astonishingly, the angles of reflection formed interference fringes that, when analyzed mathematically, resembled a binary pattern, repeating clusters of on-off states encoded across the entire structure. If this was random physics, it was the most articulate accident in the history of the cosmos. Not long after the mirror anomaly, New data from Webb's near-infrared spectrograph revealed low-frequency electromagnetic waves rippling between the fragments. These weren't solar emissions or cosmic rays. They were coherent, steady, and moving from object to object as if transferring information. Each wave carried subtle variations in phase, building a rhythmic chain that wrapped around the entire swarm. Some physicists began referring to it as the living field, a self-sustaining electromagnetic environment that seemed to connect the objects into one functional system. When mapped in three dimensions, the field resembled the neural structure of a brain or the circuitry of an enormous machine extending over thousands of kilometers. No known natural mechanism could produce such long-range coherence between disconnected bodies. Either this was a phenomenon beyond our physics or Three-Eye Atlas wasn't a comet at all. It was something larger, something integrated, and it had just come online. Then the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory detected a whisper in gravity itself. Subtle but measurable shifts in the solar wind's density appeared each time the swarm passed through a specific orbital node. The effect repeated every orbit, precise to the millisecond, creating a gravitational echo that shouldn't exist. As models were built to simulate the behavior, they revealed an extraordinary truth the swarm's distribution wasn't chaotic, it was tuned. The combined mass and spacing of the fragments created a harmonic relationship with Mars's orbital resonance, amplifying gravitational waves on a microscopic level. In essence, Three Eye Atlas and its companions were producing a signal through gravity, like an enormous cosmic instrument playing notes on spacetime. No natural swarm could achieve such synchronization. 
It was too balanced, too aware of its own mechanics. And for the first time, scientists were forced to ask a question that had always seemed too far-fetched. What if 3i Atlas didn't enter our solar system by chance, but because it was meant to? As the swarm continued its path across the solar system, the rhythmic pulses once detected by Webb began to intensify, not in amplitude, but in coherence. The 10,000 objects seemed to be aligning themselves into a larger formation, as though responding to an external signal no one could detect.